Electronic sports or e-sports are considered one of the fastest growing competitive activities. The 2024 Olympics Committee is even considering making it an official event in the Games. After listening to what the students want, Dakota Wesleyan University announced that e-sports will officially be part of the co-curriculum program. KDLT's Christine Manica took the controller and Mitchell for the story. There's an opportunity here, I believe, to uh, increase some inclusiveness with students uh, who don't are not participating in other sports at this stage. What was an idea is now turning into a reality for Dakota Wesleyan University. Two years ago, the administration at DWU noticed that gaming is something that caught the students' interest. After an overwhelming response from a survey, the school officially is making competitive esports a co-curricular activity. I think wrapping the concept of e-gaming with a little bit more holistic look at the whole student and saying, how do we recognize they're doing this and help them do it in the way that's going to be the most productive for them personally. DWU is one of three colleges in South Dakota to have an eSports team. Plus, they are the only school in the state with membership to the Collegiate Association for eSports or NACE, which is a conference like the NAIA or NCAA. Esports is very different. It's a very dynamic and just different organization. Some of it is, they call it APMs or actions per minute. So there's an, a physical component to that. And then again, you still have to maintain the GPA. You still have to do, uh, right now we're talking about a fitness program, an nutrition program. Students will be competing in games like League of Legends and Fortnite. Students participating will also be treated like collegiate athletes. Coming off his first season of collegiate football and being highly involved with choir and theater, Freshman Brennan Benz has a handle on balancing his schedule. Studies come first, like any sport or program, um, and then I talk to my theater director, and that's mostly evening stuff. And the way it works out, it's the same thing. I have about two to three hours now in the spring where I have nothing to do. Brennan and the other 31 members of the team are looking forward to their first official tournament in January. In Mitchell, Christine Manica, KDLT News.